Okay, if you think Windows 11 can run on HDD, then get ready to be disappointed. It doesn't matter how powerful your PC is, what CPU, what GPU, what RAM you have. If your Windows 11 is installed on HDD, man, you're in big trouble. So I have this uh, latest version Windows 11 23H2 installed in this machine. This is a laptop. I can actually show you guys the specs of this PC. Uh, if uh, the settings loads, I'm just gonna wait here. <laughs> wow, this is taking forever. Okay, it's back. So this is pretty good PC, uh, i7 7th gen. I have eight gigabytes of RAM. And the only difference here is that the drive is HDD, all right? And I do have SSD, but just to make this video, I installed it on HDD and uh, I had a terrible, terrible, terrible experience. I don't know about the previous versions of Windows 11, but the latest version, Windows 11 23H2, is unusable, almost unusable on HDD. So I'm gonna pull up the task manager here. I'm gonna go to the performance and uh, it's not looking good. I have nothing, nothing running in the background. This is fresh, clean installed Windows 11, right? And uh, look at that. The disk usage is constantly at 100%. Wow, this is terrible. So because of that, I can't use other apps. Even if I can, I'll have to wait like ages if I open multiple tabs in browser. Look at the disk usage always 100%. Let me open start menu. Okay, no problem. Let me open the search. There is a little bit of delay. Let me open the Windows settings. Okay, and guess what? To make this video, I paused the update because when the Windows was updating, uh, this PC was not usable at all. I'm gonna resume the update. All right, hopefully it will get resumed. Maybe not. Okay, it's not working. Okay, finally, after a few minutes, it's back. But the disk usage is already at 100%. I doubt that I'll get updates. And look at the CPU usage. It's, it's normal, right? I also have GPU. I have NVIDIA GTX 1050 Ti. Also the Intel's integrated GPU. There is no problem. The only problem here is that Windows 11 doesn't like HDD. No, no way. <laughs> okay, maybe you guys are saying maybe you're using faulty uh, disk or maybe your disk has problem. Guess what? I'm gonna show it to you. I have this software called Crystal Disk Info. Okay, here it is. So you can see this is my uh, HDD and look at the health status, good. Uh, I also have uh, SSD, uh, it's also good. The health is excellent, I don't see any problem. Just because I have HDD, I can't even install updates. It always gives me error. So there is this new update, which is stuck here for forever in 0%. And I doubt that it's going to get downloaded and installed. Now look at this. This is the same machine, same Windows install, Windows 11 23H2, but it's using the SSD. And look at the performance. I can do multitask without any problem. And the disk uses isn't always at 100%. We all know SSDs are just super fast compared to HDD. So basically, if you're planning to install Windows 11, but you have HDD, no, don't do it. No, 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 no. First get the SSD and then do it. <laughs> uh, let's check on the updates. I think the updates are being installed. Uh, uh, okay, first uh, I need to click on this. I'm clicking. See? Oh, okay. Now it's opening. <laughs> oh, it's not getting installed. Finally, we have uh, uh, the download started and it has reached to 7% after like 
five to 10 minutes. This is the true experience of Windows 11 in HDD. So just say no to HDD. Uh, I mean, you can store your files and stuff like that, but you cannot install Windows in it. I mean, you can. I mean, I, I, I have installed it and that's why I'm running it. I don't think after watching this video, you would want to do that. No. <laughs> I don't think you want to do that. Okay, I'm going to try opening like multiple apps if I can. I mean, even the start menu stops responding. I'm clicking, 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 and hopefully you can hear it. Okay, <laughs> opening the different things. Let's say I want to open this setting. Let's say I want to open command prompt and uh, you can see most of the things are just stuck even the command prompt takes like forever to load when you're doing multitasking so if you're thinking to upgrade to windows 11 and you have uh, hdd just no don't do it get the ssd and then do it i have actually debloated this uh, windows install uh, I don't have many bloats in it and I'm not using online account and I have turned off many Windows settings to optimize it. Even after doing all of that, Windows 11 can't run well on HDD. So yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.